everyone, welcome back again. Olga Show live on air. Uh, welcome uh, everyone. You can see us on the Ustream. If you have that chance, welcome to our internet here. Ustream, search Olga Show. I know there's no rain right now. We had first rain in a few months. We didn't have any rain. So that was wonderful. I see sun in San Jose. I can see it's right through the window. No wind, <laughs> trees. Uh, uh, staying still, leaves are not moving. I guess yeah. it's nice and beautiful. Yes, uh, yes. And we have a wonderful guest here in our studio, Arlande, who came to talk about the third, uh, the third World Independent Film Festival, TWIF, which was founded by Ted Unarsi, a published author and accomplished independent filmmaker in collaboration with the MDS Foundation. And of course, more information we are given to you right now. Our interview today would be available on YouTube as well. Just search olgashow.org or olga-show.com or just YouTube and you will find us and uh, look for uh, guest, our guest and today's date. So Arlanda, you came all the way from Philippines since 1975, retired supporting good human cause here, mm -hmm. all for humanity, doing it all on a volunteer basis. Yes. Uh, together with your wife, supporting the mission to empower and foster a new generation of filmmakers. You uh, don't want to uh, see human trafficking happening. You don't want to see slavery happening. And um, so you are very active. Uh, very true, Olga. I never realized that joining this festival or supporting this festival and TED uh, will require a lot of commitment. But once I give my word, I will fulfill my promise or my, uh, I will deliver. There's another person that I need to say something about. Her name is Grace Susara. She is also the backbone of the festival. And she's the administrator and very, very well qualified for the position. And she is everywhere. Uh, she supports all the back, I call, we call them back end operations. And without her, the festival will come to a halt. And of course, my wife, my wife who has been supportive all the way. And now she is also retired. And she, is, uh, she has told us, uh, told me, that she will continue to support the festival. So, eh, we got, we got uh, four strong or five strong members, and I believe that the festival will continue to be a success. So, hey guys, those who are retirees, please come and help us. If you think you can help us, call Olga Show at 408-912-5265. By the way, I need help too, Olga Show. <laughs> I need all of the expertise I can get. We're growing very fast here, just like movie festival. And we have TV programming. And perhaps with that and his expertise, we can start producing better and more movies yeah, and right. documentaries and big screen movies. Because we already have um, TV spot on Tuesday and Thursday, which is in Russian oh, and in English. Oh, yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, that's kind yeah. of happening in short period of time. And thank you to our supporters, listeners, and viewers who made that happen. That's why it keeps us busy. So I understand, just like learning from Ted and his team, we are trying to help with to people from all walks of life and remaining true to our mission to educate, inspire, and empower through the art of our programs and uh, wherever it's like films, interviews, wherever it's like just learn from each other um, and uh, from any countries in the world. And you are from Philippines, but you are here for a long time. You're kind of Americanized. As a being immigrant to immigrant, would you please tell me, do you think it's um, good to take care of your roots and not forget where you came from? I like what you just said, Olga, because that's very true. All Americans, uh, this new generation today, you know very well that they are, they have uh, roots, they have ancestries. They are not Native Americans like the, the natural Native Americans, Indians, okay, but all of us, many of us, 
have roots from other countries. Okay, and I'm sure Olga, you share the same sentiments because it's not, uh, there is always that problem in immigration that they say, hey, and of course I'm now referring to the left wing versus the right wing, and I always maintain, uh, hey, I'm, the immigrants here, they help and support our community. They pay taxes, uh, and many studies have been showing that uh, immigrants contribute to the society's well-being. And if that's the case, we should try to support the immigrants. Okay, now I, d I don't want to dive into the political issues, okay, but it's uh, just, just remember America is not only Native Americans, but all made up of immigrants from various countries. All the countries are represented in America. It's a melting pot. And America is today because of the immigrants. And uh, by being hardworking and willing to take challenge and continue learning, doesn't matter what age we are in at this present time, we're just uh, moving forward and I guess we're trying to move forward everyone with us yes. in the uh, right direction and of course learning best of the best from each and every country. What helped you through the immigration process here to stay strong and not to lose your humankind, human nature? Well, I think I always rely on my family because they're very supportive and every time there is an issue with uh, like you know uh, I hate to say it again there's all this prejudice everywhere however prejudice can be replaced it can be prevented if we make a commitment but if uh, we let prejudices take control of us then we are in deep trouble so I, I wish that everybody can can share the same sentiments because your blood is red like mine. Whether it's not blue, it's not pink, it's not uh, it's always red. Okay, you have a different color, yes, but you have a mouth just like I do. You have a nose just like we all do. You have two eyes. Well, if you have three eyes, then <laughs> okay. Yeah. However, it is always good to. I am making light of the issue, but. Always remember that we all are members of the human race. And so there should not be any distinction between you are a German, you are a Russian, you are a Filipino. Well, those are, I would say, technicality. We are all human beings and we should support one another. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I agree. And um, of course, I, I went through all of this and continue to go through all of this and I do my best uh, with support of the people. So I'm doing yeah. it for people, our program from you to you and we're happy to say that we are thriving and succeeding because of the people we're helping and they're yeah. helping us in return. We don't expect any help but people still help. As long as it goes cause, just yeah. like your, your movie festival, that's always find the right supporters who has still have heart and kindness to yes. be caring people, to um, have a better place to live here in planet Earth. Yes, I totally agree. Yeah. I know that um, Third World Independent Film Festival actually support filmmakers from all over the world, especially third world countries, to show and help them um, not only their talent to international audience, but also perhaps show issues which happen mm. still yeah. in third world countries. Uh, yes, the, you're correct, Olga. The issues that are now facing the, the developed countries like the United States, Germany, uh, Italy, France, London, okay, are not necessarily unique to them. The issues that of the third world are now coming to the first world. And so, uh, you talk about hunger. Well, here in America, we have a lot of hungry people, a lot of hungry ch kids and children. And so, that's also happening in the third world. Okay, it's, it's just that here in America, we do have the technology, 
we can create more and hopefully we can uh, have more food so we can contribute to the uh, to suppressing the hunger that's ravaging our countries and not only here in America but also outside America and if we can do that uh, technologically why not the things that are the issues that are impacting the third world uh, are also well impacting the United States and if they can learn something from the third world then so much the better and if the third world can also learn from the first world why not share the information, the information. share the kindness yes and uh, I know many countries when they can they really help uh, other countries and other people to survive and thrive through the difficulties like uh, hunger uh, homelessness yeah. and, uh, and uh, health issues different problems uh, maybe on higher level like already when you have family relationships and when people immigrate from one uh, another to another country so they have to stay away from their families and of course you can say yeah then nobody asks you to leave the country you could stay in back in philippines or you can stay in russia nobody asks you you, yeah, ha you have there, been yeah. yeah you have been a director so you could stay a director but you wanted to learn from other uh, country and you want to probably benefit the country right Oh, um, very, very it. true. It's, it's just sad. Uh, there, well, I'm not singling myself, but there are many people who are leaving their own country to search for greener pastures, as they say, which is true. It's just unfortunate that the countries that they are from do not create the jobs that are needed to keep them from leaving their own country. And so they are forced now to leave because they have found a job elsewhere that's not good they it's better for the country like in this case I'm referring to the Philippines It's better to have uh, manufacturing ag agribusiness uh, commercial sectors in the economy where you have jobs start with the mom and pop stores okay because I believe it's a, they are the uh, engines of growth and if you have that they will cr they will create jobs and that's where uh, young people who just graduated from college can go and apply as clerks then they hopefully they will learn and if they continue their education probably they will become managers and so on and so forth and if you have a manufacturing uh, sector that's very alive and very robust just like uh, what because I, I have been in manufacturing all my life yeah okay and I've been a director of Filipinas textile manufacturing firm in Cainta Rizal okay and uh, I was fortunate to be in that position and I had uh, thousands of people reporting uh, super and I was supervising them and it's, it's not easy but hey I enjoyed it okay that's why it's very difficult to come from a director's position <laughs> to a clerk, to a clerk. <laughs> Okay, but Believe hey. me, I remember the times when I was a scientist, uh, working at the Academy of Science, and also came here, I had to wear the cages, but in your, <laughs> compared with your case, um, uh, cages from mice maybe, or um, you know, lab uh, dishes, but then I knew I couldn't even speak English. I didn't have American experience of yeah. work, so I said, well, I'm taking this challenge and see if I will, will overcome. But then when I visit my mom back in Russia, and I had to dig potatoes. <laughs> and I said, oh my God, I need some uh, machinery to dig potatoes, uh, not just me doing it for 10 years. And yeah. that was very difficult for me to accept as a seeing what can be done. But at least you still doing something for your country and also America, yeah. obviously engaging the different communities, educating, inspiring them through yeah. the um, art of film and bringing even challenges to diverse uh, communities. Yeah. and finding solutions to have again trying to solve the problems and live a better life I would like to know more about uh, for instance the third world independent film festival for mm -hmm. three years did you receive any positive feedback for the work you and your organization received in the past three years uh, yes and no and let me explain that uh, as you know a growing organization will always have ups and downs 
uh, they will have support eh, limited or anemic support and then the rest probably no support it's very rare to find an or a festival like ours whereby you will get a hundred percent support immediately or at the at the inception of the uh, festival uh, that's life not everybody will so see the the depth or the uh, the benefit of the, of the festival okay because people are different uh, you might disagree but if we continued my belief uh, and uh, as was the belief of Ted is always that if we can show our films and convince others well if you sh if you are able to convince one film director to give his film or her film as an entry we have done our job okay we have accomplished something okay now it's difficult i must admit but hey it's not impossible so we keep trying like they say when the opportunity knocks open the door don't just don't just uh, do not open the door no it's the opposite knock open the door knock to open the door right yes <laughs> otherwise who knows that who is behind that door or what's going on behind the doors so the first um, twiff it was at that time i think called sold world independent film festival was in september 2011 in milpitas and since then you have many countries submitting the film in uh, yes. my understanding you already played uh, films from countries like india tehran usa thailand kenya philippines peru nigeria lebanon bangladesh um, somali china brazil haiti trinidad tobago and russia as well that was the first uh, movie yes um in the first film festival and you had a lot of attendees um, to show those films and you had politicians local politicians supporting you film makers international ambassadors corporate and civic mm. leaders um, and still of course challenges because you probably one of the first who doing it and making it happen I believe we are the first the third world indie film festival is the first of its kind because we were we concentrated on the third world countries however the focus is now shifting we are still welcoming the third world we are also including now the first world that's the reason why today which is the third world film festival number three in Fremont is uh, showing the uh, let me read the suspect it's the film suspect uh, done in USA it's about USA studying Mackey Pfeiffer William Sadler Sterling Brown and if you don't mind Olga let me just read the synopsis so the yes, people please. will understand suspect is about two african-american social scientists posing as bank robbers in an effort to understand the racial dynamics of a small town law enforcement however their experiment takes an unplanned deadly turn okay this is a film it's not a uh, very long film but hey we are now allowing them to be shown in our film festival and that's why our focus now is the world film indie, indie film festival it's no longer third world indie film festival you're trying to bring to the world not just world world but world yes now i know from 10 to 10 p.m tomorrow you would be able to see those movies at century in fremont and the day pass cost only 20 dollars uh yes and then they you can see my god almost uh, uh nine movies yeah, for twenty dollars you can see all of those nine movies if you have the stamina to see the ten films or nine films. Okay, but you're welcome. Please come if you are a, a senior citizen. There is a big discount. Okay, uh, but even if you are not senior citizen, please come. Okay, this is a donation as well as it's good for supporting the 
worthwhile causes that we espouse and we are also supporting nonprofit organizations as well. All right, and coming <coughs> back to the uh, places like Ted, who wrote four books, made five movies, he keeping himself busy and, um, you know, having families. <laughs> and then how that's all possible, and you, even so you retired, but you are quite busy, I see you working from yes. early morning. By the way, where do you live? Which city do you live? Well, we just retired and we moved now to Rancho Cordova, Which somewhere in Sacramento. <laughs> I hope you don't drive every day here, right? No, no, I, I can festival. do that. You know that it is expensive to, to be driving all the way from Sacramento to here. Yeah, so, but it's still two hours, three hours drive. Yes, and, uh, yes, yes. One very way. true. Yeah. And you still come into this festival here to support and yeah. uh, be sure that everybody receives their awards, everybody have a chance to see the movie, everything organized. Well, I, I heard Olga, if I may interrupt, you're going to be a, producing a film, right? Yes, uh, absolutely. Can you tell me something about it? Um, <laughs> if, 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 if that's still a, not a secret? Um, <laughs> you know, it's like you cannot have secrets in Russia, I guess. It's eventually <laughs> getting known all the world. So I will be making a small documentary about immigrants' life, yes. And it's very close to my heart. I Good. know it's not easy to be immigrant, but at the same time, um, it's easier to some degree because we can see maybe something other cannot see, and we can see how we can make it better, or in Russia, or in America. And if you have <coughs> a kind heart, it's easy to do, um, but requires a lot of hard work. I mean, uh, you probably sleep four, six hours, right, if I'm not mistaken. My body or clock. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, it's uh, I sleep uh, four hours, tops five hours. That's it. Yes. My body clock uh, keeps waking me up at five o'clock. I anytime I, I wake up almost always five o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> so and just like that, I do want to write the book. And the more I socialize myself and helping people like you. I do have this idea coming to re uh, I have this idea coming to reality, and I want other people to follow your example and uh, write, make movies, uh, help people, uh, have uh, concerts, <coughs> festivals, multicultural event, just to make this place aware that no, this is not bad. It's actually good. Or let's help each other, and uh, literally we can achieve far more by creating technology together, have cultural events together, and I know a lot of cultural, multicultural events coming here in San Jose. In fact, I will be participating in one on October 5th and more coming in October, November 10th. Mm -hmm. Our radio station having International mm -hmm. Bazaar in Santa Clara Convention Center. I hope you Filipino community join us. I have about two, three hours of Russian people performing there, then we have Indian people performing, and Chinese people, and Vietnamese, and you should let your Filipino community know about International Bazaar coming up in uh, November 10th, from 12 to 7 p.m. in Santa Clara Convention Center. Have you made inquiries with the Philippine Consulate and the other civic organizations that are Filipinos? Not yet, but let me give me all of the contacts. We should work with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, there's a contact that I can right away off my head mention the name of Demos Ponsalan, who is the founder uh, or the uh, head of the so-called CTC Global. He's also a partner with with us, uh, TWIF, and uh, he he has a lot of contacts. So probably he would be a good contact. Very good. So that's very nice. Our uh, English programming coming back, I will be speaking Russian language. You're welcome to learn Russian. I will be <laughs> learning on and off the uh, Tagalog language here yeah. because I do go to uh, a lot of barbecue r Filipino restaurants. Okay. And some of the food similar to Russian, especially potatoes too. Oh. Yeah, that's very good. You have to watch out <clears throat> because it's a little fattening. <laughs> I, I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
but, uh, but I will try it. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, similar to it, and of course, fish and so forth. What would you like to wish our listener and viewers from all of your great experience? Uh, everybody, if you can come to support our festival, uh, please come to see our films, all the, fil uh, in the indie films that we have at Century Theater at Pacific Commons Mall, 43917 Pacific Commons Boulevard in Fremont, California, 94538. We are open. We start showing the films from 10 because tomorrow is Sunday, it will and only be... And it's the last day, tomorrow the is last the last day. day. So it will be from 10 in the morning uh, all the way to... Uh, where are you? Sorry. Until 10 p.m. Yeah. I see that the suspect, USA, made in USA movie, yes. will be here done. Yeah, the, on Sunday though, it will, it will end up at 7.30. 7.30, okay, yeah. so you have a newer updates, great. Yeah, 10 o'clock to 7.30. Uh, yeah. Great, so everybody yeah. invited to see Third World Indie Film Festival coming up in Fremont. And thank you, Orlando, for coming. And I'm very glad to have you here. And next year, I'm going to put my movie, how about that, uh, to your All film right. festival. Okay, you convince me. My God, I have to <laughs> say this out loud. And of course, uh, thank you to our supporters. Have ideas, want to be in our movie? Join us. We. Happy to have your talent and your expertise in our movies and our programs. And thank you, Arlanda, for and insisting you, <laughs> to have us uh, bring our work to more people. I appreciate that. And teaching us how to engage mm. different cultures and countries to um, uh, have a better place to stay despite of different walks of life while we still remain true to our mission to educate, inspire people. Olga Show for you. Thank you for listening.